Hey, Mom. Where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but Mom, don't we owe it to Grandpa to... Yeah, I know. It's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah. Bye. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. All right. Let's do this. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening, they can start off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means... Well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother, but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... <sighs> I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it... it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help. But I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Goodbye, Grandpa. Does this globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? Like, is this a second part of my necklace?
morning, Mr. Piggles. How have you been holding up? Don't you oink at me. Whoa. This looks like it belongs in a museum. Nuh-uh. I've watched too many movies to go about stealing ancient relics. Or like a Scottish cathedral. I prefer my face unmelted. Thank you very much. That's a really nice binocular. <laughs> Monocular? Um. This will be perfect for my next sail across the Seven Seas, but I'll leave it where it is for now. Telescope! That's a really nice telescope. This will be perfect for my next sail across the Seven Seas, but I'll leave it where it is for now. Avest me, matey! Yar! <laughs> Aren't these triangles in the journal pages? This button seems to control what clock hand can be moved. This hand is a triangle facing outwards. This clock hand is a triangle facing inwards. This clock hand is a triangle facing inwards with a line through it. This clock hand is a triangle facing outwards with a line going through it. This button seems to select clock hands. I probably need to select the clock hand somehow. That was the first time I traveled by magic, pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner, so we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure, the one that never was. But that is a longer story, for another time.